Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Greedfall Blind. I'm your host, Lasan Fay. So, um, yeah, so I'm investigating some missing tablets. Which, I personally am really truly beginning to think that... Um, the guard is actually the one who did away with them, because, well, Tuleme has an unfortunate habit of erasing things that don't agree with her doctrine. So, um, but before I investigate the area or the crime. Hi! Hello. I am Lair, the village leader. Well, I was the leader of this village. Hello. De Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logaid Blau. I did not know that. What do you want from me? Um, I have heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Okay. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions. Talking about the Lloyd and all these things. One morning they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. Okay. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them. They were violent and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So, we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Yeah. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. Fair enough. One of the theologians told me that you had helped them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. Okay, and... What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Deirdre, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called the soul Lassa, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace. And the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the Vosdirent. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity hmm. for what? For the Renaixe to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men, perhaps wiser than they are. Well, good to I know. Have to go. Like so many others. Thank you, there. Okay. Now to investigate. 
um, the area where the tablets were. Father. I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Um... Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? Oh, to other villages, I imagine. Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Some of their legends must have been about Saint Matthias. That helped to convince them. And how well have neighboring villagers welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So, we sent them missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedluk, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. Um. Why share this village okay, with the natives? Okay, hang on. To replicate and resume. If he came here by living. S okay, right. Tell me about one. how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Huh. We saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of Saint Matthias, and everything here fit the description of Saint Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here, in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. Uh -huh. There's something strange here. It often takes time for the people of the continent to get used to our paradise, but I am sure you will come to appreciate it. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, thank you. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I knew that the story would be more complex than we'd been told. I find it regrettable that my colleagues aren't more honest when it comes to history. Nothing solid has ever been built on lies. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur. Yep. That I agree with. Alright. I guess... Alright. Hmm. There's only one entrance, and the door shows no evidence of a break-in. Brother Virgil can't have cared less about these relics. He must have fallen asleep on duty. And then, someone must have just stolen the keys from him. It's very likely that that's what happened. But someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. So, we have to find their accomplice. The one that informed them, and who must be in the village. We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village. Family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who's close to the exiles and enough about the researchers to inform them. Okay. Great. Back to Lair then. Otherwise, I have to fall off a piece of scaffolding again. Though that may have been faster. I may still. I still am. Good to know. Path efficiency, what's that? Oh, 
<sighs> Hi there. You have returned on all Manawi. Do you need something else? I think I know who stole the tablets. Really? I believe those who were exiled from your village seek vengeance because the missionaries forced them to leave. They must have taken the tablets with the help of someone else who stayed here. You may be right, but you may also be wrong. I agree with Lair. You do well to tell me what you know. Once the priests have reached the same conclusions as I have, how do you think they will interrogate you? You're probably right. The Inquisitors would come back, and my people would suffer. I do not want to break the peace that I did all I could to make. I think the name of the woman you are looking for is Vindwal. She helps the priests who seek the old sage. If she's helping the priests, why would she betray them now? Her son is one of the warriors who had to leave the village. Mm. He's filled with anger and fury. If you go talk to her, please do not hurt her. She is but a mother who acted according to her son's wishes. I have no intention of hurting her. But things may not be so simple when it comes to her son. Ugh. I have to go. Like so many others. I'm gonna be really mad if it actually is one of the the natives. I think it would have been far more interesting to have the Ordo Luminous be the one. Um, to kind of greetings be at fault. Are you Vindwa? Bert here, Tumad. Yes, that is me. What do you want? Um, what can you tell me about Lair, your former leader? He is a man of peace. Some people dislike him, not me. Everything he did, he did to save the village. But I think the Moind Shakers made him forget what we are. He almost speaks like them now. I really don't like the way this is phrased, but... Listen, I know you helped the Exiles to steal the tablets of St. Matthias. No, this is not true. It wasn't me. There's no point in denying it. I know you did it for your son who had to leave the village. If you know that, then you know that I don't have the tablets. So what do you want from me? Um... The only means of alleviating the situation with Teleme is to give the priests their tablets back. So if you do not want your son to suffer their wrath, it would be best if I could retrieve them discreetly. Uh, Bran and the rest of the Exiles are hiding in the woods. Okay. Beyond the Stone Circle. If you want to take the tablets away from them without being seen, do not take the part on the left. It is riddled with traps. And please... Do not hurt my son. Okay. Well, thank you. She said, do not take the path on the left. So, right hand rule? Maybe enlightened protect me in this battle. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go. May the shadow engulf our enemies. Oops. Let's see if you can ward off this faint. May the shadow engulf our enemies. Alright, Petrus, you doing okay? We all doing okay? Alright. Uh, 
Oops. Didn't time that one right. going to be a toughie. Maybe we go the long way. Okay. Oh, camp area. All right. Well, let's go get the camp first. <laughs> Since it is just right here. Okay. Hey! Well, that's all the camps. Uh, just so I don't actually stand in the fire. Alright. Um... Whoa. Thanks game for the auto save. Oh, I missed the turn. Do not take the path on the left. I really not get through the brush there. Here's the place that Vindwal indicated. The exiles must be near. These people have been banished already. There's no need to add death to their list of punishments. Let's try not to fight them. I agree. Don't worry. We'll be discreet. In that case, we should avoid taking the left path. If I remember correctly what that woman said, it's booby-trapped. Okay, so... Let's take this path. Am I still... Anyone? I I don't like this. Hmm. 
Only one way in. There, we found them. Now all that's left to do is return to Eden. Hopefully we can sneak out the same way we snuck in. Please. Okay. This is a very tense music for um, a stealth section. <laughs> No one see me, no one see me, no one see me. <sighs> what are you doing here? I was worried for my son. Or he wanted to make sure that everything was fine. I think so. I managed to retrieve the tablets discreetly. I am glad to hear that you managed to retrieve them. I will go talk to my son now. He needs to stop seeking revenge and find a new clan. That would indeed be wiser. Vengeance has no positive repercussions. True. Okay. Now I've got to get past the big nasty thing. Again. That or fight it. I can fight it. Whoa. Okay. I could fight it. I don't want to fight it. It's got a big red skull over it. Meaning it is beyond my level. right now and that that fight will hurt and I've been doing a lot of really hard fights in the last few days but I don't feel like subjecting myself to more Ugh. and I could have skipped it entirely by fast traveling but I didn't oh forgot to loot you Take it all. So... Who am I returning these to? Guess the head researcher. I retrieved your relics. Thank you. Thank you immensely. Thanks to them, we will be able to continue our research on St. Matthias. I am curious to know who is responsible for this theft. The culprit must be brought to justice. I do not want to point the finger at anyone. You have your relics back, and that's the only thing that matters. Your indulgence honors you. But how can we be certain that these thieves will not strike again if they are not punished? A good start would be to keep a better watch on the priceless treasures that you find. In any case, you would do well <laughs> to keep a better watch on your discoveries in the future. You should also pay more attention to those who share this village with you. This theft would never have happened had you truly been in harmony with the natives. But that is precisely what we desire more than anything. Oh, we may have been a bit clumsy in the beginning, but we'll make sure to improve things in the future. You really were a great help. I would be most grateful if you agreed to continue helping us. I might come back at some point, but alas, I am very busy. Naturally. Either way, we are certainly capable of continuing our research without you. 
Actually, I must go back to my work. Our next expedition must depart as soon as possible. Your next expedition? Our brave researchers must continue to follow the tracks of our founder on this island. In the meantime, here, take this as a token of gratitude for the help you gave us. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope your expedition will be a success. <sighs> Wait for the results of the research. Ah. Okay, so. I'm now at the point where I have to... These, I think, can happen pretty much at any time in any order. Um, these two. Um, the Arikost of Yorglans have built a nest north of Eden. Be cautious if you follow the roads to the northeast or go into the bushes. Traveler's grave. Better nature of travelers on Vindavile Road. If any of you were to find his body, please dig a grave for him. Right, that. Be cautious if I need to follow the road to the northeast. Okay, so... And side quests. Okay, can't do that. Um... Third challenge, really hard right now. I will resume it later. Uh, uh, you know what? Maybe I go help Afra. Finally, uh, get around to that. Um, alright. Uh, yeah. Desade, I'm happy to see you. I can't wait to find this famous cave of knowledge and what it contains. I could probably go alone, but just think about what you could learn and not only about yourself. Don't you want to understand where your face markings come from? Okay, sure. You were right, Afra. I will accompany you. Thank you, Desade. Let's return to Dunkus's village. Our new friends will surely be able to tell us more about this cave. Oh, lovely. Um... Vasco, um... I like having that intuition bonus, to be perfectly honest. I don't really need the charisma bonus. So, yeah, okay. You know what? Sure. Bunch of gunslingers. That's, that's how we, that's how we roll. The Gigida. I hope I pronounced that right. Oh god. I'm gonna butcher so many things. Ah, oh, of course! Now Vasco wants to talk again. Well. Vasco, you can wait for a bit. Okay, I've already done two parts of yours. Um, game. Game, 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 game. Actually, hang on. I should sell my junk. Junk. Because that's what we do. Alright, level loaded.
And we still have some short loading screen, but um, we'll get through this. Anyways, um, this seems like a good place to stop for this episode. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.